Okay, so my goal here is to write this in the form y equals a sine bx plus c. I can see from the picture that the amplitude is 3. That's how far up it goes um, above the x-axis and how far down it goes below the x-axis. So my amplitude is 3. Now, b. <clears throat> That's my next one, b. So I know that the period is equal to 2 pi over b. The period is the length of one cycle. So if I look up here, I'm looking for how, what is the distance that it takes for one cycle of sine to complete. Um, so in my picture here, I can see one cycle of sine, one hump up, one hump down, takes from here to there. So that's a distance of 8 negative 2 up to 0 and then another 6 beyond is 8. So I'm going to solve this now. 8 equals 2 pi over b. Uh, 8b equals 2 pi, so b equals 2 pi over 8 or pi over 4. Okay, so now I know what b is. Alright, now I'm going to solve for c. Now to solve for c, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inside part, um, the bx plus c, I'm going to set that equal to zero. And I always set it equal to zero because I want to know, I want to kind of move this sine curve back to where I'm used to seeing it start, back to where it starts at zero and goes on from there. So I want to kind of transform it back over there to the, to the y axis. So I'm going to take this inside part and set it equal to zero to get it back to zero. I know what b is, I don't know what c is, and I want you to think of x here as my x start. Um, so x start is uh, where the sine curve uh, normally starts. It start, starts on the x-axis and then goes up from there. So um, what I want to know is this x right here, is, that's where the sine cu curve is, nor is starting. Um, and so my x start is negative 2. B, recall, is pi over 4. Um, X start is negative 2 plus C equals 0. That's negative 2 pi over 4 plus C equals 0. Solve for C. Um, C is negative, uh, sorry, positive pi over 2. Okay, so I think then I have my final answer here. Um, it's Y equals A. I'm going to take all of these parts, put them all together, and say a equals 3 sine pi over 4 x plus pi over 2. All right, and I can check my answer by graphing this equation on the calculator um, in this window. So <clears throat> graph on your calculator this equation, set your window, make sure you're in radian mode to go from x equal negative 2 to x equal 6 and then from y equal negative 3 to positive 3. Okay. If you get the same looking graph as what we started with, then it's correct. If not, something's wrong. Okay. Thank you for listening.